the political cartoonists, when Donald Trump was first elected, gave everybody a good laugh with various depictions of the White House with the Trump name on the front. Well, tonight, during the wide shot, if you squinted, it appeared that that was emblazoned on or in front of uh, the White House because of the signage uh, in lights that you mentioned. Counselor to the president of the United States was uh, his hype woman tonight. She walked out to Elton John's I'm still standing for reasons known but to the Lord. Uh, but uh, I don't know how many Americans are discussing the Hatch Act tonight. But if you and Michael and Jason are correct that this was an ongoing two hour criminal matter, who do we see about that? Right. Well, um, first of all, just to make sure people understand, the Hatch Act is the law that said to me that I could not make or take a political phone call in my office in the Hart Senate office building. That when I was doing a radio um, interview with a station back home in the Senate radio studio, I couldn't talk about anything political. Every single member of Congress understands you do not cross the line between politics and the government resources. And so that is against the law. Technically, the president and vice president cannot be held accountable, but members of his administration can. Now, there's not enough teeth in the Hatch Act, and I do think this will be a Trump legacy. I think the Democrats will, um, I hope they take the Senate, and even if they don't, I'm willing to bet that, that you're going to see the Hatch Act enhanced a little note of irony here. That's what Mark Meadows was trying to do when he was a member of Congress. He was trying to strengthen the Hatch Act back in the, when he was not this lawless mm -hmm. president's chief of staff. Um, so <laughs> there will be there will be act, complaints made. There will be investigations done. They're just counting on none of that coming to pass in the next 67 days. You know, but speaking of infecting, I do think it's important to remember why they said they were doing it at the White House. They said it was too hard to move the president during a pandemic. Oh, great. So then they hold a super spreader event at the White House. I mean, their rationale is so obviously a lie. Uh, it, you know, and if anybody wants to believe this president cares about whether America is struck down by this deadly virus, take a look at that shot. Do you think he cares? Right. He could care less. And he showed it tonight in the most, speaking of visuals, in the most visual way possible. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.